please like and subscribe. Virgo, welcome to your reading. Virgo, this is a reading for Virgo sun, moon and rising or wherever Virgo is in your birth chart. So if you are a Virgo, sun, moon or rising, or you know what house Virgo corresponds to in your birth chart, this could be the me medicine from your, your mystery. Please remember, Virgo, this is a general reading. You might not resonate with all of it. You might not resonate with any of it. Please take what you need and leave the rest behind. Uh, there's no dates on my readings. If you resonate the, with the reading when you click on it, it's yours. All right. And I believe you can turn the transcriptions on for the video at the bottom of the description box. Okay, especially now that I'm putting... Um, captions in there so thank you so much you know like everybody just for all of your patience with me as <laughs> I'm learning a new area of um, managing my channel so thank you so much okay creator please bless this reading please bless uh, please bring in the knowledge and the wisdom of the most high for Virgo for Virgo's person and for the cross watcher cross watcher this could be you could be dealing with the Virgo this reading could be all about you okay all right Right, so it's going to be a three card spread Virgo this is furthering into the uh, series the, the light in the dark all right the first card out is the king of Pentacles the in reverse this is in your past oh and let's turn on the lights there we go this is in your past the king of Pentacles This is Aries energy and Taurus energy. So King of, okay, there's change coming in. The King of Pentacles often to me. Okay, so your abundance, this isn't your past, Virgo. So your abundance, your sense of abundance and certainty within your within your identity and your persona is starting to sh to change is shifting it's no longer what it was it's it's in flux so ooh and the king of pentacles so when i see the king of pentacles like that in reverse it doesn't suggest to me failure of any kind what it suggests to me is you have, I'm surprised that the world didn't show up here because what it suggests to me is either a completion, a completion of some sort of, some sort of a cycle in your life or the energies of who, of your persona, your identity is, uh, is shifting. They're shifting into like a different part of your life. They're shifting into a new part of your life. Okay. The next card up in the current. Yes, look at this. Two of Pentacles. So this is also about new balance. New balance. The Two of Pentacles can also be about a person that likes constant change also too. You know, um, this is Capricorn energy and Jupiter energy. So very interesting, but yes, yeah, like um, New Balance. You know, it often follows the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, yeah, you're okay. You've come into when you've come into a golden opportunity. Something has happened where you 
something has changed within your, your, your identity and it has brought you into change and you are balancing your priorities. Now you are balancing, you're, you're getting a new feel of this, of this new dimension. And you are deciding what's priority, what's not priority, how to balance this, how to balance that. You're basically adapting to this to to this new change. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And the third card is the magician. <laughs> Virgo. Virgo, beautiful. The magician. So it looks to me like you will master this. Like you are going to be uh, developing your skills. This could be in the Ace of Pentacles position that you've come through, that, that you've been like initiated into. And you're going to be manifesting from this new place within you, a new experience, a new dimension, a new, um, a new, par new part of yourself. So you will definitely be um furthering into your adaptation being extremely original with a lot of self-confidence excellent virgo very good and what's on the bottom of the deck the eight of pentacles lord of prudence lord of wisdom beautiful virgo oh you and taurus had two of the best readings in here like Leo wasn't bad either, you know, Leo wasn't bad, but you and Taurus have some of the best readings here. Okay. Okay. Let's do some clarification. Okay, so Eight of Pentacles, let's quickly touch on this. So this is ruled, Eight of, Pe Pe Eight of Pentacles corresponds to the Sun and to Virgo energy, more Virgo energy. So we're working hard, very much working hard in your passions, raising your standards in your life. Absolutely raising standards and look at the growth. There's a hand coming up out of the either either I think it's I feel like this is out of the earth because this is Virgo energy with the sun. So interesting. So two dimensions of yourself and earth based, which is Virgo and the sun, which is a uh, solar. So coming together to um, honor your hard work, honoring your hard work and bringing you into, into a further wisdom about yourself, your family your experience, your physical life, your material life. Beautiful, but you're gaining a lot of wisdom here. You're gaining a lot of wisdom. So this is the card that is um, supporting the entire reading and coming in on the horizon. So Virgo, you were going in a new direction and it feels to me like everything is honoring this. You were being honored and supported by the cosmos, by the elements, by the ancestors, by your own higher soul, by like everything. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So yes. Okay. So what creator, what is the king of pentacles in reverse about for Virgo's past? What kind of currency ended? I see this as a kind of, not necessarily a currency, but yes, a currency. Um, a part of yourself that was financing your life, that was financing your physical life, something has come to a close. Something that used to be a priority to you is no longer a priority. You've come into a new priority and you're balancing new priorities right now. But you're not who you used to be. What is that that's saying going? I don't know who said this, but it says it goes up something like this. I am what I am and I'm not what I used to be. And that's that's so true. It's so true. And that's that's always we're always in a in a state of flux from day to day. Okay. But not like 
extreme, hopefully not ex extreme changes. That's hard on the body, hard on the mind, hard on everything. <laughs> okay, let's cut the cards and see what's what here for the King of Pentacles. Oops. Okay, creator, the first card out, the King of Wands. Hmm. Very uh, big picture seer, overcomer of challenges. There was a death. Yep. There was a there was a death. So you had there was a big picture. Something happened to you, Virgo. That elevated you into a perception of the, of yourself that allowed you not. And this isn't this isn't just a one time thing. This is. You've always had the capacity to see the big picture. But something happened in your life when you were, you had to access this part of yourself, this ac access this part of yourself that can see the big picture, that is an overcomer of challenges and is, a, and is an excellent leader. And this part of yourself was helping you through. This is so interesting because the King of Wands over the King of Pentacles. So yes, something in your life, something that was that was abundant and was prosperous and was secure came to a close because death is here to, to confirm this. And it is your King of Wands within you. It is the king of wands within you that you employed the archetypal energies within you that you employed to help you get through this. So, oh, yes, you were lifted up. You lifted yourself up into your most universal self in order to get through whatever this was. Whew. I'm getting also for some of you, you were literally touched by death. For some of you out there, Virgos, you were literally death brushed by you. And I'm feeling like you had an appointment with it. I'm feeling you had an appointment. This was, this was, a, oh, I just got Virgo. I mean, Virgo, Vertigo. I just got Vertigo. You had an appointment with Anubis. Very interesting, and it was to initiate this change. It initiates a major change in your life, something huge, permanent, and this is permanent. This is permanent. Okay, and the third card is the hanged man, a changed perspective. When you were finished with this, uh, um, when Anubis and you were finished, Anubis and you and your king of wands here, and not even finished, I don't feel like, because I feel like this is still, you're still working with death. You're still working with death. You're still in the midst of transformation, trusting death, trusting your, your king of wands energy within you and your, and the, um, your connection to death within you has has changed your pers perspective and i'm feeling this is about yourself your life and look at this how this is turning forward very interesting so I want a few more cards on this. This has kind of intrigued me. I normally only pull three cards out of this, but what, what was changed? What was the, and a sacrifice. You had to make a sacrifice. What was sacrifice creator? What does Virgo have to sacrifice to come into a changed perspective, to further a changed perspective? I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you on the, in like, I don't know why it's coming up this, this way, but in a series of caves and you're in like a middle, like a, 
how do what is this like um what was that what would that be called creator like um a cave that branches off into a whole bunch of other directions and you haven't taken any of the directions yet but you're in the midst of when you were about to go into like in, in order to take a new direction you have to sacrifice something it's going to cost you something it's going to cost you something as you were having a changed perspective hmm want a few more cards on this I can just feel the creator is saying there's more this is a lovers in reverse so something interesting that's how it is man that's how it is something that you really really loved Or maybe some person that you really, really loved was removed out of, out of your life and you had to let go of this. You had to let go of your attachment to this person. It was a sacrifice. This, this, like, how do I, how do I say this? Some people, you know, there are sometimes... Some people are only in our lives for a short period of time, you know, or for a, for a certain season, and then they're and then they're not anymore. So, and sometimes we can get really attached, you know, we can get really attached to a certain person, and we can we can um, affect the other areas of our life by refusing to let go of a certain person or place or attachment or even an experience. You know, so something happened that you really, really loved. Something happened with a person, a place, a thing, an experience that you really, 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 really loved that was removed out of, out of your life. And this was to, f to help further you forward into a new experience because you were going through a change, Virgo. You didn't really have a choice. This didn't, you didn't choose this. This happened to you. And it didn't even happen to you. This happened f for you. This happened for you on your behalf. On your behalf. Okay. What is the two of pentacles? Nope, we're not going into that yet. I keep forgetting. I'm so, I'm still learning this new, <laughs> this new spread. Okay. So what is the dark, the dark light creator that is assigned to Virgo's experience or person? But what is the dark light assigned to this, to this the dynamic? Because whatever it was, Virgo, you really, really cared about it. Yes, it's like your King of Wands is what has helped you get through this. Your King of Wands and the ability of you to marinate. Like that's what the Hanged Man is about. It's about a person that is able to marinate within a certain state of mind until they come to a certain level of clarity. You know? Okay, so what is the dark angel assigned to this dynamic creator? What is the dark angel assigned to this dynamic? is Astaroth. 
Interesting. King of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. King of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Okay, so King of Pentacles. And he corresponds to the th three of pentacles. So this dark energy had come up to try to stop you from creating your new life. And, you know, obstacles as, as, as an obstacle to you creating your new life. And as I always say, obstacles do not block the way they are the way. And Mary O'Malley, she said it best. And she said this way, what's in the way? is the way so this puts you through some sort of like an initiation into a new experience what is the angel of light assigned to virgo's transformation here what is the angel of light assigned to virgo's transformation flying right out. Irathel, Irathel, the preventing God, the page of wands. <gasps> Interesting. Okay. You know, the page of wands. Yes, it releases you into a kind of exploratory emotions and feelings, ex excitement, and a sense of freedom. Interesting. So the preventing God, there's a torch in his hand to light up the path. You know, I, I hear the Buddha also, be a, be, be a lamp unto your own path. And this is what I see of you. The, the way to the past is closed. And that's what I see here. That's what I see is the way back is shut you can't go back you you for you passed a rubicon you've passed a rubicon virgo so something happened with this that passed a rubicon which means a decision was made an irrevocable decision you can't go back you can't change this this changed everything it changed everything for you and for the people around you. It changed everything. There's no going back. This is permanent. So the pre preventing God. So absolutely lighting up your path forward. The propagation of light confounds the wicked and confounds the wicked and slanders. Saves from enemies. Hmm. Interesting. So you've come out of a really dark contract. Whew. You have been saved from a very dark fate something very very dark and i don't know what this was virgo i don't know what this was but whatever happened whatever change came in and anubis came in a major change came in this change seemed insurmountable to you a major obstacle that you felt like you couldn't get through, but your king of wands and your faith in your, whatever you have faith in is what helped you th through this. Oh, and the creator just said, you sailed, you sailed right through this. <laughs> Good for you, Virgo. <laughs> I love it. I love it when the creator speaks up on your behalf. It looks all, it looks all perilous and stormy and dark. And then the, and then the creator says, and you sailed right through the storm. <laughs> That's beautiful. So the creator is always watching us, which I see the creator, they, them as the field, the consciousness of the field that sees everything. It sees everything in every direction. Okay, can we have some clarification for the Two of Pentacles creator? Why is the, what is the Two of Pentacles about? 
for Virgo's current energies. What is the Two of Pentacles about with Virgo's current energies? The Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Very grounded, very abundant. Seeing the fruition of your hard, hard work, very practical. Beautiful. Just a second. Is there, is there a zodiac sign in this? No, there's not. Okay. I see this as Virgo energy anyway, because it's a pentacle. <laughs> the nine of wands. So the queen of pentacles being very financially secure energetically financially secure so wherever you are you are in a you are in a place where you are not worried about your finances um or your energy you're feeling good you're feeling like you're recovering from whatever this this was whether this was an attack on your health on your physical life your job but something huge happened here and you've recovered from it, like like I said, you sailed right through this. And you're recovering beautifully. You have um, very interesting, the Queen of Pentacles is looking back at the past. So something from your past is financing your present and you're looking back, I feel like, with, with honor, with the gratitude. You're looking back with the gratitude beautiful and this look at the scarab so this is new life this is incredible incredible resilience virgo incredible resilience beautiful beautiful and what's the last card here for virgo is the fool in reverse the fool in reverse. <clears throat> little bit of indecision, little bit of hesitation about, and that's to be expected, you know, fools rush in. So, so sometimes the fool energy can mean that actually someone's actually being a fool. So I'm feeling that you're wanting to be careful. You're resilient enough. You're very resilient. You're no fool. Let me make that clear, Virgo. You are no fool. So what I'm feeling here is you're just wanting to be very, very careful as you're finding new balance. Absolutely beautiful energy. And for the fourth card, because there's four here, uh, this is the chariot in reverse. So the chariot in reverse can be... Um, feeling maybe unsuccessful or a sense of defeat, but it's not a sense of defeat. It's you're still finding your balance. You're still finding your balance. And that's a process, Virgo. That's a process. And that's to be ex expected. You're kind of entering into the the longer longer now, but you find it. You totally do. Yes, you absolutely find this new balance coming up. Okay, but before we go there, what is the dark energy that is associated to Dirk Virgo's transformation here? What is the obstacle to Virgo finding their new balance, their new sense of balance here? What is the dark energy that Virgo is wrestling with or balancing out right now? We're working through. That's it. What is the dark energy that Virgo is currently working through right now, creator? Oh, this came out in Leo's card too. I can't, okay, let me see that one too. Let's pull out 
So I'm going to use one of my dragon cards to cover her breasts because I know that uh, YouTube doesn't like to see that. So this uh, demon's name or this dark, dark angel's name is Vepar, Vipar. She corresponds to the Seven of Pentacles. And I believe her cause is the Seven of Pentacles also too. Very interesting. I'm just gonna grab my my charts. Number forty-two. Yes, the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles, you know, working hard, perseverance, and and a sense of diligence. So this is just coming in to uh, challenge. Um, uh, how do I say this? Just to, <laughs> this is just a natural, to me, I feel this is like a natural form of friction from the universe. This is like a natural obstacle that we, when we enter into a new, uh, um, dimension, it's, there's going to be, okay, it, Inertia. That's what I thank you, creator. Thank you. This is your own inertia. You're working through your own inertia and it is connected. See this, um, Vepar, Vipar is a mermaid. She is a dark mermaid from the deepest parts of the ocean. So I'm feeling that this uh, mermaid is attached to your emotions, to the pain of your past, possibly, something within your emotional life, within your emotional waters. And um, yeah, that is, you are having to work through at this point. This is also Libra energy. So Libra is about balance also too. Libra energy. So there's Libra energy present here emotional Libra energy. The Zodiac that, that Vepar corresponds to is the Zodiac, Zodiac of Libra. So whatever this dark energy is doing, it's helping you find new balance also. This is helping you find new, new balance as you face into your own resistance. You know, something from your emotional life is, is coming up to challenge you. But it's furthering you along. It's furthering your process. Oops. Okay. What is the light energy creator that is that is assigned to Virgos to help Virgo find their new balance? Rahael, Rehael, the Three of Swords, the quickly forgiving God, love, submission, love and submission cures illness, influences paternal love and gives long life. Oh, beautiful Virgo, beautiful. So this is what I mean. Something happened in the past that saved you, that, that, Something happened in your past that that you saved yourself from. You saved yourself by making a decision that changed everything, Virgo. It changed everything. And it, it, ooh, I'm feeling like it moved you on to your d d destiny. Because what I'm hearing here is that you know, you, um, fate, fate is when you follow, follow the herd and you will get, 
you will your consequences will be relative to the herd um fate is when you follow something that is said to you from the herd from the group mind that 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 is spoken to you about you and you fulfill that that is fate destiny on the other hand is something that comes from within you and it won't make sense to the rest of the group and you followed this you followed this and it changed everything good for you virgo it set you on your path of destiny so this is allowing you to forgive your past yes see how even rahael is facing the past so this is something that is allowing you to cures illness. So something happened. Maybe there was an illness, something of your health in the past also too was affected. And when you stepped onto a path of destiny, ooh, that was like spiritual warfare going on even. Some sort of a warfare going on within you. And you prevailed over it. So now you are, you and the three of swords, you know, this helped you. Somebody really betrayed you in your past, Virgo, like really be betrayed you. Or one of the archetypal wounds is here. One of the archetypal wounds, when I see the three of swords, and it's so interesting the Three of Swords is like one of the three archetypal wounds, maybe all of them. Um, abandonment, shame, and betrayal. Those are the three um, archetypal wounds that every human being has to experience. You know, it's like Bob Dylan's song, everybody must get stoned. You know, he's not meaning get high, although they do say, that the masters do say that that is part of it, but it's um get stoned you have to be betrayed you have to be have a rock tossed at you and it's got a freaking hurt you know everybody must get stoned basically be crucified we all have to be crucified and we also have to get stoned meaning elevate into the <laughs> higher dimensions get high tell the truth telling the truth makes you high it it and i don't mean high like intoxicated i mean elevates you so the three of swords you went through some sort of a archetypal wound and it had it and it had incredible effects on you it had incredible um, I want to say detrimental effects on you, but you overcame this and you are overcoming this. You are overcoming this. You are in the process of finding forgiveness, curing your body, curing some sort of a physical challenge that you're going, that, that, that you have had no choice but to face into. Maybe you become a new parent, influences paternal love, or, you're, or, you're, or you are already a parent that is learning to deepen your love for your children and gives, giving you a long life. This, this ensures you a long life. It doesn't, there's no guarantees to any of us, okay? But this is also, oh, I'm just seeing like <sighs> something happened where you saved yourself from a horrific end, like some sort of um, catastrophic something, and you saved yourself. And the angels are here to, to honor this and carry you even further into your new sense of balance. Absolutely, Virgo, my gosh. Whew. Powerful energy, Virgo, very powerful. Okay, and you prevail because you come into the magician energy. What is the magus of power about creator in Virgo's future? Am I taking that? Yes. The moon. Ooh, I'm seeing this as high priestess energy. I'm seeing this as high priestess energy. Intuition. Intuition. 
but I'm also seeing this as the subterfuge of the moon. So your magician energy, yes, and that's what this is connected to. Thank you, creator. The subterfuge of the moon is the deception of the moon. It's the, it's the, um, our, our, our carnal, our carnal selves is, how do we say this creator? I need the language for this. Our physical carnal experiences are first born in darkness. And that's what you, that's what this is about is the choice you made in the past ended your subterfuge under the moon, ended the subterfuge of the moon over your life. So what that means is there was, there is a deceptive tendency of the moon, like the dark and the, the night and the day, the night and the day before we are reborn into our destiny, we walk in the night. All of us do until something happens where we wake up and we have some sort of some sort of an awakening where our, <coughs> pardon me <coughs> where our eyes open and when our eyes open we begin entering into the day can you hear this so whatever happened whatever happened to you virgo in your past it brought you into your awakening and is lessening and weakening it's it's awakened your high priestess within you and i feel like you've already ha you've always had your high priestess intact but you didn't depend on it as much you were still you're still you were still learning you were still learning you were still growing you were you were still learning but now this energy the creator is telling you that this this energy the magician energy, this new rebalancing of what's happened to you, whatever re reawakening that released you from the darkness of your life, released you from the night, released you from the subterfuge of the moon that was, that had power over you when you were walking in the night. Oh, I'm getting shamanic burps. Um, the creator is wanting you to be aware of this, to be aware of, how do I say this creator? And you will be aware. You, you, you totally will. Whatever is going to be coming up to you is going to be, your own high priestess is going to be able to identify the deception of the subterfuge of the moon, the, 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 Parts of yourself of the past that hold you back. That's what I mean. The parts of your life that hold you back, that hold you back from your highest potential. That's what the subterfuge of the moon is, is when we get attached to certain behaviors and their dark behaviors, maybe behaviors of self-sabotage, behaviors of um, when, when we only see a situation through a, a, a certain lens, like we see a... a behavior, um, we say a situation, a person, place, a thing, or a situation through a certain lens that keeps it maybe bad, maybe keeps the, the thing bad or keeps it in a specific, see, because when you change, Virgo, when you change, what you look at also changes. And so that's what this is about. That's what this is about is to see what was in your life to hold you back, what was in your life to hold you back, to be an obstacle, but to also your high priest to, to also value it as equal value, value it as, as importance, but not just come into like, gratitude of this what is the word how come i can't find the language of this like this is like it's almost like coming into appreciation for your str str struggles 
and you're as you become into the medicine and or the ma magician energy you're going to be seeing your life a lot more through the high priestess energy you're going to see your life a lot more through your wisdom change of perception common sense uh, through more sound judgment okay okay what's the next card please creator I don't know why that was so hard for me to, to, to get out the magician in reverse here okay so that's yes okay so the magician that was under the subterfuge of the moon will be no more you're coming into your higher dimensional magician. And this is what I mean. The creator wants you to be aware of the parts of yourself that you manifested under the carnal part of you, under the carnal part of you that was not, that was not, not awakened. So the work that you're coming into now, and I don't mean your job, I mean your work is to be aware of your manifestation under your carnal life and to bring these into a more um just 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 a minute here yes that's it you can't manifest in the same way you can't manifest in the same way because something in you has changed and shifted and you will you will notice yes this the magician power within you to manifest even in your carnal even in the carnal relationship with your your life that still had power but you're noticing how that power is changing and coming into a higher dimensional manifestation higher dimensional capacity to manifest that's what i mean oh okay sometimes the energies are so complex and so subtle that it's hard for me to put language to them okay and the last is the ten of wands in reverse okay so yes to also not forget to rest, not forget to rest. So, okay, so what I'm seeing here, yes, okay, this is starting to come into, into form now. The subtleties I couldn't see clearly. Your carnal manifestation in your past, Virgo, was to get behind yourself and push. And it was to push and push and push and move, 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 move. You know, like that's what I'm hearing you is you just, you pushed yourself, you pushed yourself and it brought you in a state of burnout. It brought you into a state of, of either an inability to delegate. Um, I know I'm not getting that though. I'm not getting it's an inability to delegate. Or maybe it is. Maybe you're in a place where... You've had to step back from your ability to delegate. You've had to step away from it. You've had to honor. There was some sort of a change here, some sort of a change. And as this says, cures illness. So there was some sort of a health issue that came up that you cannot follow this anymore. You cannot follow that same. You cannot manifest in the same way because of how it has affected you. So the creator is, is asking you to do the work to bring your magician manifestation capacity into a higher dimension, into a higher dimension that honors you, honors your spirit, honors your contract here with spirit. Okay, what the creator is just saying also, when we're born from zero to 40, we are our spirit coming into matter when we're 40 onward we're going from matter back to spirit so that's what i see here is that you were you were spirit coming into matter so you were you were um 
fulfilling and expanding into your carnal life and you were manifesting carnally like you were supposed to, but you can't bring that into your future. That's what this is saying. You're, you are now matter going back to spirit. There, there has been some sort of a shift within you, Virgo, where you cannot manifest in the same old way. So this is also telling you to rest, telling you to honor your need to rest, recover, and nurture yourself. And the last card is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Beautiful, beautiful. So recovery, that's what I said, recovery. Uh, charity and improvement. So you will be improving your life. Oh, Virgo, this makes me want to cry. You will be improving your life. You will be, this is like, a, this is, oh my gosh, I'm just seeing grace when great big bolds, bold letters over your life. Grace has entered your life. Grace is carrying you. You have, I mean, Virgo is connected to the Virgin. She's the, she's the, Virgo is the Virgin. That's the constellation that Virgo is connected to. So beautiful, beautiful Virgo. So absolutely, you are going, the creator's asking you to honor your need to rest, honor the fact that you are exhausted, honor the fact that you, <gasps> that you have exhausted a way of manifestation. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's why this happened. That's why this happened. Because you have exhausted a form of manifestation. That's how we change. That's how we change. An alcoholic exhausts a part of himself that can't consciously drink anymore. As much as they want to drink and continue drinking, maybe they killed somebody. Maybe they hit bottom and it's now affecting their job, affecting their marriage, affecting their life, affecting some area of their life that they can't lie to themselves anymore. They have to. So this could be some sort of an ex exhaustion, a person that's a rager and that goes on like a raging rampage, you know, and they're, they're like a rage, a rage, a holic, and it's affecting their life. It's affecting the, it's some sort of an awakening, some sort of an experience that, that, that part of yourself, the subterfuge of the moon has, has hit a brick wall, has hit something hard, hard and fast. And this is showing you what has happened and showing you where the creator is bringing you to into a new state, a new relationship with yourself. This is a new relationship with yourself to not push yourself anymore, not be so hard, not so hard on yourself. Let yourself rest and recover. And you will see improvement on your life, your health, everything everything beautiful okay creator what is the dark energy that is um designed to this dynamic that is here to challenge virgo's recovery what is the dark energy here that will challenge virgo's recovery as an obstacle to virgo's recovery oh. <clears throat> Ooh, ooh, interesting. Shacks. The name of this dark energy is Shacks. Look at the bird behind this. Look at look at the artwork of this. This is incredible. There's a full moon. The subterfuge of the moon. Look at this full moon. Full moon, subterfuge of the moon. This totally is the queen of swords. This is more Virgo energy. Holy smoke. And I think this is... Let me look at my charts here. It's not the... I could be the nine of pentacles. Okay, let me see here. 24... Okay, so this card means, this card is the, uh, corresponds to the queen, queen of Swords. 
the meaning of this card is intellectual understanding. The nature of this card is prideful solitude. The, the planet is the moon. Oh, no, the zodiac is Scorpio, not Virgo. That's right, it's Scorpio. It's got the little tail on it, that's right. Scorpio and the Nine of Swords. So the cause of this card is the Nine of Swords. So ironically, Virgo, ironically, interesting. Very interesting. This card has come up as an obstacle to your Nine of Swords. Interesting. See, this is such a mysterious thing. You know, we think we understand how all the energies totally work. And then the universe brings us into a whole new dimension and says, oh, really? You think you know it all? <laughs> Even for me, you know, I'm like totally. So this card, this dark energy has come up in to be an obstacle to your nine of swords. The nine of swords is ho ho hopelessness, despair, anxiety, and trauma. So this has come up as an obstacle to your trauma. So something is happening within you, Virgo, where, yeah, you can't go back anymore. You can't go back. You're going to see your past in a whole new way. You're going to see your past in a whole new way. The Queen of Swords is fierce. She is fierce. And this is, yeah, Scorpio energy. This is Scorpio energy. So there's going to be something within you that is being reborn. That is being reborn in your... Or this is maybe something from your past that will bring up the Nine of Swords within you. Will bring up the Nine of Swords and try to challenge this also too. This could be your own, your own dark, mysterious energy in service of your in, in service of your growth like it's how do i say this creator like it's like it's such an interesting so the moon energy uh Yeah, you're going to be wrestling with your past. There's going to be some sort of a wrestling with your past. That's exactly what I see here. But it's meant to serve you because you prevail anyway, Virgo. You prevail through this. But know that there is going to be possibly... Possibly something from your past that could come up. That could put you into despair or trigger a gossamer thread connected into your web to your past that will, that may uh, strum the, the gossamer thread of despair, anxiety, something connected to your trauma. But the queen of swords within you, the clarity within you, the clarity that is going up against the uh, subterfuge of the moon this is interesting. This is like, okay, thank you, creator. Thank you. This is what I've been asking for. The shamanic energy in you. There's going to be shamanic energy in you. Like shamans are very mysterious because shamans can harness the dark to do also good. Can you hear that? Shamans can harness the dark to understand the dark in order to prevail into the light. And this is what I see happening. Thank you, creator. I was like, oh, I just can't. Sometimes the energies are so incredibly subtle. Like they're so, 
subtle. It's like you're trying to zoom in with a microscope. You're not getting it. You got to zoom in even further, like to a million, a, a 10 million, a 100 million until you get the image, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so your shamanic energy, your shamanic energy is coming in to help you through some of the challenges that's going to come up from your past. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, Virgo. Beautiful. <gasps> That's what I mean about these cards. They're not all like demonic, you know, they're, they're the darker aspects, but we are that. It's us. It's us at the most base level of our, ex, of, of our physical ex, experience. You know, what is it? The, we're, we're, we go right back to the, what is it? We go right back to. Is it a sponge we were like a sponge in the ocean or something like that you know like we're way back like to our um all the processes that we have lived through that brings us to where we are now and this is like millions and millions and millions of years of evolution right okay Okay, creator, what is the light angel that is assigned to help Virgo shaman see in the dark? Oh, <gasps> that's what this is. This is furthering your ability to see in the dark, to see through your own, uh, uh, labyrinth to see through your own labyrinth <clears throat> so what is the light energy creator the light angel that is assigned to help virgo see in the dark you're coming into your shamanic energy that's what this is about oh my goodness the six of pentacles yes charity beautiful the favorable God, divine grace, and that's what I mean, grace over this entire reading. Divine, divine grace cures rage and pestilence and absolves the guilty. Beautiful. So yes, your shamanic energy is going to be, you're, you're going to be furthering healing from whatever's happened from your past here. And it's going to serve you. This is serving this. You're coming into more of your shamanic energy, Virgo. And the light angel that is here to help you is going to help you through, through rage, pestilence, and absolving the guilty. Maybe you have a sense of guilt and shame through one of the through the archetypal wounds you experienced in your past okay and it's going to help you further this incredible oh creator beautiful reading beautiful beautiful okay we're gonna pull a native american oracle card to close this reading off and tie up the energies <clears throat> oh heaven on one side and the teepee on the other beautiful cleaning house connected to the divine connected to the cosmos absolutely the shaman on the split Again, the teepee again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what did I say, Virgo? You're coming into your shamanic energy. Yeah, you're coming into your shamanic energy. 
Oh, the creator just said the word lineage. Lineage. And we're all, we all come from clans. Every human being on the planet lived in clans thousands and thousands of years ago. Okay. So we all have shamanic capacity in us. All of us do. Okay. The necklace and the wampum. This is number 25. When broken down, it becomes a seven. This is about protection. Okay. The necklace and the wampum. It's about alliance. Beautiful. Where is it? Alliance. Right there. The necklace and the wampum. The, the circle is the symbol of life and is the shape of both the necklace and belt of protection, which is the wampum. The necklace here and then the belt is here. <clears throat> To enter this circle, quote unquote, means to be born. To leave it means to die, deprived of the vital energy that ensures the continuation of life. It also, it also, some, it is also the symbol of time because the cycle of the sun and moon are heavenly circles. The necklace and the belt usually have general magic woven into them as well as protective properties. Different materials such as turquoise, crystal, obsidian, coral, and shells provided more specific properties. In addition, different colored beads were woven in patterns to create symbols and further add meaning to these ritual items. The meaning of this card, the, the message of this card, life is a symbol and all are connected. View your enemy as a potential ally and learn to see his flaws as skills. The key words of this card are alliance, protection, support, and advice from influential people. The time this card speaks of is Fridays. Mm, interesting. Okay. So you're given uh, a day of the week. It could be any day, but on a for Friday, you may be coming up against somebody who maybe betrayed you in the past. Maybe you'll be coming into clarity about somebody who betrayed you in the past or some sort of protective element from somebody who maybe affected you on a Friday. Who knows? But you have protection. You have protection and magical properties that are supporting you. And as I said, there is grace supporting and surrounding this entire reading okay virgo i'm going to leave this here thank you so much for tuning into my reading thank you creator for trusting me with this reading and thank you virgo for trusting me with this reading and i will see you next time okay bye <laughs>